What if I told you there's a machine that doesn't just power heavy industry? It practically is heavy industry. Meet the Caterpillar 3516, an engine so massive, so brutally capable, it doesn't whisper horsepower. It growls it. Whether you're running a mine in Nevada, powering a drill rig in Texas, or backing up a data center in Chicago, the 3516 isn't just a piece of equipment. It's the heartbeat of operations where failure simply isn't an option. And don't blink, because what's inside this beast might just change the way you think about power. No exaggeration. So what makes the 3516 legendary? Let's start with the basics. Although, with this thing, nothing is basic. This V16 diesel engine packs up to 3,000 horsepower, depending on the configuration. That's the kind of raw output that puts entire buildings into motion or propels the largest machines on Earth across job sites and oceans. We're talking 69-liter displacement, twin-turbocharged, and after-cooled. Translation? It eats heavy loads for breakfast and probably skips lunch because it's still not full. The moment you hear this thing start, you know you're not dealing with an ordinary engine. You're dealing with the industrial equivalent of a freight train, relentless, loud, and built to crush whatever stands in its path. Now, let's hit pause for a second, because at this point you might be thinking, this sounds cool, but what's it actually for? Fair question. The Caterpillar 3516 is used across sectors where maximum uptime, output, and durability are non-negotiable. We're talking mining trucks, marine propulsion systems, oil and gas rigs, and even power generators for hospitals, airports, and mission-critical infrastructure. It's overbuilt for a reason. And if you're in an industry where a few minutes of downtime means six figures lost, you already know why that matters. And here's where it gets even more interesting. This engine doesn't just survive extreme conditions. It thrives in them. From scorching desert mines to Arctic offshore rigs, the 3516 is engineered to run in places your smartphone would freeze, crash, and give up. Its cooling systems, filtration, and rugged design are optimized for reliability in some of the harshest environments on the planet. Let's zoom in for a second. The 3516's advanced fuel system provides high-pressure direct injection, squeezing every drop of diesel into usable torque. The engine's electronic control module, basically its brain, constantly monitors performance, making micro-adjustments in real time to protect components, optimize fuel economy, and reduce emissions. And speaking of emissions, yes, the 3516 meets the latest EPA and IMO regulations depending on the version. So it's not just powerful, it's cleaner than you'd expect from a beast this size. Now here comes the real cliffhanger. And it's not under the hood, it's after the install. Because once this engine is up and running, something almost magical happens. It just keeps going. Many 3516 run for tens of thousands of hours with routine maintenance, some clocking over 100,000 operational hours in the field. That kind of endurance doesn't just save money, it builds reputations. Entire operations bet on this engine because failure simply isn't in its vocabulary. And let's not forget serviceability. One of the secrets to its longevity is Caterpillar's global support network. Replacement parts, diagnostic tools, and trained technicians are accessible across the U.S., often in hours, not days. Let me hit you with a question. Would you trust a machine to carry your operation, your income, on its back for two decades? With the 3,516, thousands already do. Now, here's the big takeaway. In a world obsessed with microchips, software, and going smaller, the 3516 reminds us that sometimes big, loud, and unstoppable is still the gold standard. So, the next time you pass a mine, a shipyard, or a power station, just remember, there might be a 3516 under it all, silently doing the work that nobody sees, but everyone depends on. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Want more behind-the-scenes looks at the engines powering America? Subscribe now and drop a comment. Would you rather operate one, service one, or just hear it rumble once in your life? Trust me, you'll never forget the sound.